right, so we're here with the red hall. We're here with the, the, the damn blog up. And Scopely finally put it up, so that's great. Um, let's see. Can we get this down to 200 to look at it? Boom. There we go. We'll move your happy ass over. Boom. All right, so let's take a peek at this, and let's see how much fun this is. So we've updated the rewards. Thank you. I know that. I don't really care. Show us what's happening. Character and room update. So we got Med Bay, old. Oh, thank you, Ruthless. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the for the follow, buddy. So for global, forty percent. Oh wow. The fuck is this? Okay. That's that's nice. Thank you. That's great. You're reducing it. So they're reducing the max health on med bay. Barracks, they're reducing the primary stats. What have we Rich? got here? A fucking comedian. Private Joker. Oh my god. Freaking Scopely. They reduced it. Alright, so Bridge had the old effects of death proof, minor minor deflect, regeneration, stealth, and immunity. Now they're not getting stealth and immunity. They're taking that off. And they're putting in defense up and offense up. So I think that's kind of okay, ish. I don't know how I feel about that one, but yeah, stealth and immunity used to be a pain in the ass. So I guess, I guess this one's okay, ish. I want to say it's okay, ish, but yeah. All right, character updates. We'll also be giving slight buffs to several characters on two of the more recent war offense team dark. Yeah, we know about these already, which is fine. They're adding the dark hunter trait which they already did stupidly sorry decimal point jeff strikes again so we got the arcane scourge so he's getting going from 220 to 280 we already knew that um you know war offense you know boom he's getting the new one here which is what the four mystic allies and then a blind oh yeah now the chance to blind is up to 100 percent instead of 75 so yeah He's gonna blind additional targets. And then his ultimate got a nice freaking buff. On war offense, this character's got two or more Dark Hunter allies, reduce speed bar for all enemies with blind by 30%, and then apply defense up to self and all Dark Hunter allies. Yes. Yes, they actually did some good for Mordo. Cool. And now his passive? Eh. On war offense, gain 30% focus, and then all Dark Hunter. Yeah, okay, cool. So now they're gonna get more chances to just hit you with effects. Not bad. Elsa, hi. Um. So all she's getting is clear all death proof from any city. Oh, so that's just to go ahead and handle those dirty hero for hire. Yes. Yeah, Mordo's gonna slap hard now with those blinds, which is great. There's no chance. He's actually just applying it. So great. Uh, Cat Marvel. So old new and cannot crit was removed. So boom. You now she can crit on her ultimate. Wreck nerds. Boom. Wreck nerds. Thank you. <laughs> more yeah, more well yeah, Morbius always applied blind, but at least you got it with him too, so it's like boom, 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 boom. And then here for her book. Her book of a passive is now just more. They've added the A-Force tags all over the place, which is great. So you get more health and damage and stuff. So now it's military and a they just pushed it over. And then A-Force gains an additional 10%. Wow. Okay. Damn. All right. So they're getting more there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. Not bad. Not bad, buddies. A Force allies gain an additional 10%. Yeah, so there it is. Mordo applies his turn one stun and blinds everyone else after Morbius takes his turn one, and boom. So it's two blinds. They're getting hit with blind after blind. They're just going to be blinded. Screw you, dirty heroes for hire. You're done. 
Oh, damn. That would be awesome, though. Because then she'd extend it. Scarlet Witch extending it would be would be amazing. So, all right. So Jessica Jones, um, there's her old. Basically, she's getting this bottom part right here. When this character is a force ally with taunt, drops one fifty percent. Clear taunt from that ally. So, okay, she's there. Jessica Jones is there. I, I guess that's an update. You could have just put it in and not told anybody. So. Yeah, we're yeah, I'm seeing we're we're starting to see different ones now. They're putting dorm in there just to mess them up, but uh alright, the Nico one, she basically got more damage on her basic. So she got 50% more damage. Great. Um her passive basically got this one little line down here. So when a negative effect is applied. To this character or any A-Force ally, 75% chance to generate one ability energy for Jessica Jones. So if she generates energy, then gen then she could generate more energy just so you could get her special to go faster, which would be great. That's nice. That's not bad. So they're giving off energy again. Wow, look at that. Name more damage. Wow, nice. That's a good hit. His health not so much but damage mm. is that it yeah that's pretty much it i'm not yeah so essentially it was it was literally this this is what we already data mined so we knew that part but here is what they kept off so they're reducing some of the stuff in war because so the stats so for med bay, it's down 20%. Barracks is down 10%. And then you got, instead of stealth and immunity, they're getting defense up and offense up. So that's not too much of a, a hit. But I mean, it did make you work harder in bridge because, well, in bridge, because you had to sit there and get around that. You had to wait till immunity was off. And then, I mean, military, yeah, whatever. But the primary stats, they dropped them down. And then med bay, that 40% was huge. Now they cut it in half. So. Yeah, but do you really want to use Gamma on, on defense? Or do you want to put them on offense? So. What, what would everybody use? Would everybody use Gamma on defense or on offense? I want to use them on offense. I want to just see them wreck people. That's I want to see them go through Darkhold. Even Dormhold. That would be even better. But I don't think I'm going to put him on defense. I think I'll put him on offense and see where it goes. True, because I don't think anybody right now is actually going to have, going to have something that's going to kill them. So it is what it is, you know? Well, yeah, for the, for the higher... For the higher alliances, if you're going for a full clear, yes, this would definitely matter. But since I'm not at that point right now, and like a lot of alliances, they can't full clear and full clear quickly, having a room that way you could stop them for a little bit might help, but you might want to use it so you could clear more. But it all depends on who you're matched up with too. So, but Gamma in there, oof. Yeah, one... I would probably say have somebody that's got a really, you know, really high, just somebody just maxed out gamma right off the bat, throw them in there, let them be in there, boom, and see what happens and see if somebody can stop them. Because right now in war, I don't think anybody's going to stop them. Weapon X isn't going to stop them. Darkhold isn't going to stop them. Dormhold isn't going to stop them. So, well, I got Red Hulk. I got Red Hulk too. I got, I got, I got regular Hulk. To 16 i'm trying to push up she hulk and then when when i get abomination and, and brawn i'm gonna push him up quickly but yeah war is gonna be war is gonna be a little bit more not i think the whole 
dirty part is gonna shift from dirty heroes for hire to dirty gamma team we hate you we hate you um i don't think it's gonna do wait uh, yeah well they didn't say it so Yeah, I don't think it's gonna... Yeah, see, here it is. Attack from the battlefield effects are unavoidable. So I don't... Oh, shit. It doesn't actually say... It. Oh, shit. And I bet you they're not going to answer this question. They're not going to tell us. You're just going to have to go in there and see if it happens. I hope it doesn't crash. I don't want them to crash. It's just like, ugh. But knowing Scopely. But this is... Yeah, I never... I, I didn't even think about the immunity part. If it, if it just supersedes immunity because it's a battlefield effect. Attack from the, yeah, but they're, they're unavoidable, so. Yeah, they probably wanted to make sure that it wouldn't do it, but if you give somebody immunity, kind of like with, um, kind of like with Infinity Watch, some of them get immunity right off the bat, so boom. Would they get the battlefield effects? Does it go around it? Hmm. That one's gonna be fun to that one. That one's gonna be fun to see. I think the I think the real thing is when do these actually go into effect? Like they said, it would be next patch, right? Oh, starting the next war season. So, when does the next war season start? That would be, that would help out. I mean, I could, I could kill Infinity Watch now, but yeah, the next patch is in them, but they said the next war season. So the next war season, that's when it starts. So, League Info, War, when do we get it? Leaderboard, ta 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 Oh, shit. Um, tomorrow. Uh, the season ends tomorrow. Okay. All right, cool. So, it's ending tomorrow. So, this stuff will be in effect for the next war. So anybody's next war, boop. Well, unless you got it on sun, unless you got it on Sunday, then yeah, maybe not. But yeah, yeah. Well, if it by yeah, if it bypasses immunity, immunity is not really immunity. So then it would, it would hit. I just don't. But that I think that's why they took it off a bridge, so that way, you can't. That's why they put defense up and offense up. Hold on, red alert. So here, they took off stealth and immunity and they put defense up and offense up. So, and it's unavoidable, so you're gonna get hit. Yeah, they're just... This one's gonna be interesting. This one's gonna be really interesting. I do, I, I don't get it. So the season ends in 23 hours. So my next war isn't for two days, but if anybody starts war tomorrow in 24 hours, bam, you're going to be able to see these effects and test it out. I'm probably going to look out and on a, I'll probably see if it, if it, if it does it in a, if we could do it in practice mode and see if the effects are there. 
see if all this stuff is actually working right but you're yeah i'm in war right now too so and then i i looked at it the, this season ends in 23 hours so you're liking the screen mirroring it, it, it it's all right it's 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 good if you could get it working you're doing it from your doing it from there yeah we're not all in the same days i'm just saying whenever it's it's doing the whole thing yeah well because you're the cpu is just using it for the program not the actual game and you already know video games tax the cpu a lot so it should help you using a laptop but you should buy a pc but th th this blog post was a little uh but it is what it is it is what it is I i'm okay with it but the battlefield effects i want to see if that actually bypasses immunity because it said it's unavoidable so it would definitely negate immunity and ch it change the whole world you have to change immunity it'd have to be something different so uh let's go play for you